How do? Time for another beer review and something a little bit different today. We're doing two beer reviews and these are from Northern Monk and they are collabs with Seabrook, the crisp producer. So the first one is Northern Monk's cheese and onion flavoured lager and Northern Monk's prawn cocktail crisp flavoured gosa. So every year new on um, April Fool's Day, we fall for the pranks. So last year, Northern Monk kind of had a um, Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire pudding flavoured brown ale and a jam roly poly pudding um, pale ale. And they, uh, I wasn't so keen on, they actually made them and I wasn't so keen on their brown ale, but I quite like the jam roly poly. So this year, April Fool's Day, they announced this. So everyone thought, ah, it's just a prank. Typical of um, Northern Monk and lo and behold, they've gone and made it. So I had to get them. I know Jacob has reviewed it, and I know uh, Peter at Clueless Drinkers reviewed them as well. So check their channels out. But um, I got all the merch as well. So as you can see, I'm rocking the Seabrooks Northern Monk T-shirt. I actually thought the T-shirt was quite smart, um, and it says on the back. There you go. In the back of this for you. Can you get that? So um, I actually think the merch and the branding is absolutely on point. So there's your um, lager glass, it's got the Northern Monk badge on and it's got the Seabrooks crisps on it and likewise for the prawn cocktail. So I just thought it was amazing. So um, I'll, go, I'll do each review separately. I've got the crisps so I can smell the crisps, I can taste the crisps. We can have a, I, don't, I don't do food reviews, you know, I know some beer reviews do, fair play for them. It's not something that I'm looking to do but I do think it... Um, it kind of works for this this beer review so um we're going to start with the lager first so i'm just going to move the prawn cocktail stuff out of the way so um the lager is 5.4 percent to 440 ml cam it says a crisp lager with sharp full-bodied cheese and tangy onion the nation's favorite crisp flavor and the nation's favorite beer in one can and what i like about it is it also says like also available in prawn cocktail like the same way the crisp packets do, um, or, or, the, or the did used to. I'm actually having a look on here and it doesn't. Um, so a lot of the ingredients that, that are in the crisps are in here. So, um, I can't believe I'm doing this. The ingredients for the beer are water, malted barley, rice, wheat, oats, hops, yeast, cheese and onion flavour, and then in brackets it says onion powder, lactose, and then in brackets again milk, salt, cheese powder, uh, brackets milk, yeast extract, sea salt, garlic powder flavouring, acid, uh, flavouring acid, lactic acid, white pepper, spice extract. And I mean, in the crisps, you've got the cheese powder and the uh, uh, garlic powder um, and the onion powder. So um, it looks like they've just taken the flavourings and they've fired it in with the beer. So we'll get the beer out and um, we'll do this one first and then we'll do. The, um, the sour beer, the, the gosa next. So, um, it's pouring like a regular lager. I can't see if I've got a bit of a knob I pour going because of the, the yellow lines on the, on the glass. Um, so, I'll hold it to the side because so you can kind of see. So, it is very clear, um, straw colour, uh, fairly steady carbonation going up to a white head. Let's get the nose. Oh, I'm getting that onion. <laughs> it does actually smell quite oniony. <sighs> Could be a hoppy IPA. No, um, yeah, I'm getting like, there's a slight citrus in there, but I'm just going to open the crisps. That smells more oniony than the crisps. That smells more cheesy. I, I don't know. Right, let's dive in. That's bizarre. Um, big like onion aroma, but when you try it, it kind of tastes like a regular lager. It's crisp, <laughs> which pardon the pun. Um, and then you get like lemon notes coming out, and then right on the aftertaste, you kind of get 
cheese. Got um, blitz the slate. It's still a good crisp, um, crunchy, lovely flavour. My favourite cheese crisps are cheese XL, but they are a very close second. But I have to say. It bizarrely works and the two go really well together so um, I quite like it which I didn't expect and um, I was dreading this one to be honest but kind of like it some of the typical lager flavors are starting to come out and I don't know if that's because I've had a crisp but um, that's all right, that. I quite like that. Um, that one shocked me. Um, I will be finishing it. And uh, so we're going to move on to the um, the prawn cocktail now. So this is a gosa. So it's a sour beer. It says the crisp, sour, and salty gosa packing prawn cocktail punch. No prawns were harmed in the making of this beer. And uh, excuse me. And it's got some crazy things in it. It's got. Um, Prawn cocktail flavour, onion powder, um, paprika extract, um, sea salt. It says it's got icing sugar. Um, it's got icing sugar in the prawn cocktail crisps as well. Um, so bizarre. So um, this was the one I'm actually looking forward to the most. I think this could work. The um, sea salt that you that that you usually get from a gosa. I think it might complement the prawns um yeah i actually think this might work so um we shall see i knew i knew what color it was going to be um because like i said i've seen um peter in the jake's reviews i had this fear that it's going to be like bright pink like the cans but um slightly hazy hazy golden color with uh Firm white head, steady carbonation going up to get the nose. I wouldn't say that smells of prawn cocktail, but I'm just gonna open the crisp. Now, now that is prawn cocktail, this big smell of prawn, whereas here, there is none. I'm getting like a lemon acidity, but I wouldn't say there's no resemblance of. Um, Prawn cocktail in that, but we'll take a taste. Oh, I should have said sorry. Um, five percent. Um, to be honest, it's like straight up gosa. I'm getting a lot of lemon, um, a very, very slight, slight hint of the prawn flavouring just coming out on the, on the, like, in the aftertaste. It's got a real big salty kick and it's, yeah, it's just like a, a decent, really good gosa. More, and more like a traditional gosa as well than some of the, um, some of the crazy, um, fruited um, variants so it works again yeah the crisps much bigger prawn cocktail flavour than the the gosa but again it complements them so for me I didn't expect these drinks to work, and it works. Um, they are a novelty factor, they're a fun factor, but I'm glad I did it. Um, would I drink these again? I'd definitely drink this again. And I'd... 
and when I get over the smell, because I have to say, the smell's not the best on the, the cheese and onion lager. If I got over the smell of the lager, I could drink the lager again. So, this one's my favourite, the Gose. Um, I'm going to finish both. I'm going to certainly finish two packs of crisps. Um, but, um, yeah, a bit of fun. Um, and I'm glad I did it. So that is Northern Monks Cheese and Onion Lager and Northern Monks Prawn Cocktail Gose. So I'll add those to my Northern Monk playlist where you can see some of the Northern Monk beers. So, um, thanks for watching and... On to the next one. Cheers.